Yo, what's going on, true fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, I'm going to be answering a question that I get asked all the time. And that question is, can you stream from a laptop? So let's go ahead and have a little chat about it. I think one of the number one questions I get asked on a daily basis is, can you stream from a laptop? Short answer, yes. Long answer, no. There are many factors you need to take into an account when purchasing a laptop or figuring out if your current hardware on your laptop can actually handle encoding a stream. So I'm going to go ahead and break down the things you're going to need to look for and the things you may need to go ahead and just upgrade in the near future. If you just can't afford a new laptop at all, I'm going to give you some options um, for like capturing consoles and things of that sort. So you can still stream to Twitch because if you have a console laying around, you may not be able to play PC games on your current hardware. But you have a console, you can capture that. All you need is a capture card. So let's go ahead and talk about like the bare minimum specs that you're gonna need for PC gaming and streaming on the same laptop and then capturing, using your laptop to capture. So let's go ahead and break down the specs for the gaming and streaming on the same laptop. So when it comes to gaming and streaming on the same, like this goes for any system, honestly, but when it goes to a laptop, you're kind of hindered when it comes to getting the maximum specifications on a laptop. Sometimes you can go out and you can find desktop grade processors inside of a laptop, but those are usually upwards of 25, anywhere from 2500 to $5,000 and it gets crazy. The thing you're going to want to look for is the Intel, I, I recommend Intel here because Ryzen hasn't really broken into the laptop market quite yet. They are this year, but it's going to be really hard to find those until the middle of the year. So going forward, I fully recommend going for a six core, 12 threaded Intel i7 or i9 processor. You can find the i9s now. The i9s are going to be a little bit higher of a clock speed, but at least six cores, 12 threads of processing power. The reason why I say that is it's going to allot you enough cores and threads to both render your game and help encode the stream going back out to Twitch. Now the next thing you're going to want to look for is 16 gigabytes of RAM. The reason why you need at least 16 gigs of RAM is because streaming and using up all of the applications that you need to stream, that's like your chatbots, the game itself, the broadcasting software, and anything else, so say Chrome tabs to hold, open up chat and keep it monitoring, and all of that fun stuff, it takes up your RAM. So at least 16 gigs of RAM or more, if you can afford it, I would recommend that. Now the next thing you need to look at is your graphics card. There again, laptops don't always have the most powerful graphics card. Most of the time you're going to see laptops with a mobile style processing on the graphics chip, or it's the max it's going to be is a 1050 Ti because those are relatively low power, but they still provide a good stable frame rate for 1080p gaming. When it comes to streaming and encoding, sometimes your graphics card is utilized to run like alerts and things of that sort. So that's something to keep in mind when purchasing a laptop. You may have to splurge on a little bit more high-end model to be able to get all of these things. So yes, streaming from your laptop is going to be very intensive. You also want to make sure that it has a good cooling solution because laptops can thermal throttle a lot easier than a desktop can. So that's another thing you need to factor in. Keep in mind, a lot of these high-end laptops do cost a lot of money. So that's one huge factor to buy purchasing a laptop versus a desktop. I always 100% recommend using a desktop, but sometimes people ha don't have a lot of space or they're traveling all the time and they'd like to stream on the go. So a laptop is the next best thing. Laptops aren't bad, but you do need to spend a little bit more money to get that extra power that you expect out of a desktop. Now, for all of you streamers out there that have a current laptop right now and you're wondering, hey, can my rig stream this? Well, let's go ahead and break down the specs that you would potentially need for streaming from your current rig. So you can get by with a four core, eight threaded processor for all of you out there that has an Intel i7 or an AMD comparable system with at least four core, eight threads. My recommendation to you would be download OBS, do a test stream, see if you can load a game onto it and just try playing it. If it works, cool. If you have a decent frame rate, cool, it works. If it doesn't, 
try playing with the OBS settings and seeing if everything will work properly. Sometimes you're going to have to dumb those settings down and there's no way around it. Sometimes you're going to be streaming at 720p 30 FPS, but hey, guess what? You're still streaming. You're on Twitch. That's fine. You can always upgrade your hardware in the future. That's how a lot of streamers do it anyways. The other option you guys may have is if you can't play games on your current laptop, but you have a console sitting around, go ahead and pick up a capture card. Chances are your system, your laptop, all of that fun stuff will be able to still encode a stream properly enough going back out to Twitch that you can capture your Xbox or PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, whatever you guys have laying around, and you'll still be able to play games and interact with your chat because you can use your laptop then to encode the stream and dedicate all of its resources to encoding the stream and making it look great. A lot of streamers start out like this, they start out as console gamers and then slowly transition into being a PC gaming stream. A lot of people still just capture their consoles and play nothing but console games. There's nothing wrong with it. But yes, to answer your question, it is possible to stream with a laptop. There are a few caveats to that answer though. So it's something that you guys really need to break down, but I wanted to make this video because I get this question all the time. But yes, it is possible to stream from a laptop. It is very possible to stream from your laptop, but you have to have the correct specifications to do so. If you don't, you're not gonna, you can stream, but you're not gonna be able to play games. So pick up a capture card. It's always good to have one on hand anyways, but pick up a capture card, and if you have a console laying around, use your console until you can afford to build a desktop PC or upgrade that laptop into something better that will be able to handle PC gaming and streaming at the same time. If you guys like this video and like want to see more like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and smash that subscribe button before you guys leave today. I would super appreciate it. If you guys want to follow myself or True Gaming on any of our social medias, be sure to check all of those links in the description below and come hang out with me on stream sometime. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, starting at 10.30 a.m. and going till about 4 or 5 in the afternoon. I'd love for you guys to come hang out with me and chat. But guys, like I said, that about does it for this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Until next time, watch Shadow out.